Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing very well. So, the next question that we've been asked by you guys is, can a single missile, whether it's an air-to-air -air or a ground-to-air missile, can it take out multiple air targets? The way this is going to work is if those multiple air targets are obviously close to each other because the, there is a set range at what the fragmentation of a warhead can do damage at. So in this example, we're going to be flying kind of in close parade formation with our aircraft. Now, no one out there is stupid enough to actually do that in a combat scenario, apart from GR. So it's good that we do this test. So there are different types of warheads in missiles. In this, we've got, I think this is a typical just blast frag warhead. This is a book, and you probably will remember this from the investigation of the uh, jet that was shot down. And... If you haven't, then come to this page and you can see it uh, experimenting. We'll never see any better pictures and visuals of this here. That's the kind of damage it does. And roughly speaking, all missiles are going to have the same type of fragmentation pattern. So in this case, if that's the travel of missile, the longitudinal axis of the missile there, we can see the resultant blast frag pattern there. And that is extruded or rotated through 360 degrees across the longitudinal axis of the uh, the missile here so it can basically damage anything within any three-dimensional volume of that extruded pattern and there will be a limit to the range obviously and that will depend on the size of the warhead the type of the warhead and so on my understanding is that the forward movement of the fragmentation is based on the actual movement of the missile the actual frag pieces are only sent out uh, sideways if you like and you can see that's demonstrated here where the missile is now static it has no movement and you can see the blast frag pattern now has no forward vector if you see what i mean in this case it's coming on this longitudinal axis with this forward motion and you can see the pattern there and so on so to do the test it's very simple we're going to have some guys flying a parade formation we're going to launch a missile at it probably with a continuous rod warhead um, we're going to fight at the guy in the middle of the formation and see if it hits all of the other guys i'm sure it will i'm sure D dcs has been modeled to do that but we shall see in terms of if there would be a maximum limit of aircraft destroyed by this missile probably not it's probably just the limit to however many planes we can get in this damageable area looking for saying i see him right put your atc on or whatever you're right pilot on and we'll come and get in formation i'm going to be on the left to say in rc is going to be on the right we're going to be hug nice and close and see what that missile does yeah we're so close it won't matter i'll see pull forward you're too far back because remember we've got this um kind of ring spread of fragmentation missile away wow that was quick spike mommy you'll take what you deserve here it comes here it comes is it coming from above or up front On the front, I can oh! see it. Oh! Dead. You two, oh, we're all dead. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. I'll see. <laughs> Very good. And just for giggles. <laughs> yeah, you put it in, get, put it, put it in package and slow it down there. <gasps> wow. How cool is that? I've caught the uh, missile as it's literally touching into your plane. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> cool, but weird. I like that one. <laughs> very good so that, that was good that warhead just absolutely so the so the, the fragmentation it came out in a ring and it just absolutely obliterated all of us straight away and then we just collided into each other so as we thought we can kill basically as many planes are in the the warhead zone of that missile will die simple as that nothing else i can think of saying anything you guys want to add to that no that's what the missile was designed to do